Good afternoon. I'm not too happy right now. I'm kind of depressed because of the weather forecast. You know very well I hate snow. And I'm so worried about getting a lot of it. I can deal with a couple inches. There's no problem with that at all. But the prediction is three to six. And by the time it gets here, it'll probably be over a foot. Because every time they predict that, it's always more. It's been a very good winter. And I was glad that there was no snow up to this point. What's really upsetting me is the damn road salts. I don't drive in the snow. But however, the damn crap they use on the roads eats cars up. But anyways, let me show you what the damage is on this minivan. When we got it, it's a 2003 minivan. When we got it, it had no rot, no rust or anything on it. Of course, it was garaged. But it was driven in the snow by the previous owner. So, I went and got a can of fluid film at Home Depot uh, and I've been spraying these. Now the last couple of years, two or three years, there's a lot of rust, but now there's another hole there. There was no hole in the middle of the van. There was always a hole here and a hole up towards the front, but now we got this. So I've been spraying this as much as I could, and it's not easy laying down in the parking lot of Home Depot, but it's a cleaner drive, uh, cleaner area to lay in than out here. I'm on a piece of cardboard now, but you can see here, it's not really bad at this end. It's bad enough. It's soft. Um, there's no way that that's going to be fixed by me. Because all I can do is sheet metal bondo tar and that's it. And my experience with that is, it just keeps on rotting. I was told fluid film is good. I've been using fluid film for the last few years. I buy it by the can, the spray can. I can't afford to buy a $100 pump and a one gallon can of it. So it's about a little over $10. Uh, with the you know, before taxes. So you can see I've been spraying all along. So let me go down here oh, just a minute. Okay, this is the right front quarter panel. I guess you call it that, rocker panel, whatever you call it. You can see that that's getting bigger. Now, when I first saw this a couple of years ago, I was going to cut around and put galvanized sheet metal. But I'm getting too damn old to do this stuff. Now, this is bent in, but that was that way when I got the van, okay? You see how this little ridge is where they fold over the metal? Well, it's, it's pushed in, but that's not pushed in by me. But however, I think it got pushed in when I get the grease job and oil change by my garage when he puts it on the lift. So I think that's what happens. Uh, so... I've been spraying, and the other side is just the same way. So, I got a half a can left. So, I'm going to use the other half of the can. The 90 Ford van here. Throughout the years since I've been using fluid film, I've been going up underneath. As much as I could reach underneath. Now, I have ramps, but it's very difficult for me to... Uh, get them up there because if I don't have somebody watching the vehicle, I could drive right off. There's only a little lip. It's all ang made out of angle iron. Good ramps. Well, they get me up about eight inches or so. So I'm just going to stick a couple of two by sixes in the back and just back the van up just a little bit. And I want to do is I want to spray the starter. Now, I've had starters replaced all the time in here. When it is cold, the starter will spin out. The Bendix will go, bzzz, bzzz, and eventually it'll kick in. So, the van didn't get used too much. It sits more than anything else. Started right up great. As a matter of fact, starts up 
so great the engine races a little bit and that's very bad until the oil gets up there but anyways I'm letting this run I got to run about 10 minutes already and I got to go in and get my work clothes on because I ain't ruining my nice shirt I got for Christmas <laughs> I ruined more clothes so I'm gonna get into my work clothes and then I gotta get a couple of two by sixes and back this van up on it a little bit. Maybe it'll give me enough room to get up underneath there. And I wanna spray some fluid film on the starter because water and dampness gets in there. The driver's side, there's rust coming through. It's constant, a little here and there. This work I did years ago, if you look back on my body work videos, I got fluid film in there. It's holding up pretty good. The van runs great. You know, if I was rich enough and had a garage, and I could leave my tools out and keep puttering around and coming back, I'd be able to do a better job. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. It's probably pretty dark. I'm using the bob lob. But what I do is I hit it with fluid film underneath. Okay, we're putting it here because we're getting the heat out of this van. We get more heat out of this than they do in the minivan. The minivan, I get lukewarm air out of it. I have to warm that car up in the cold weather as long as a half an hour sometimes. This thing, you can't beat the old vehicles, I'll tell you. Okay, I know 2003 in a minivan is not a new vehicle, but it's new to us. Okay, so now... I got my Sunday best on right here. So let's go to the shed and get some wood. Got the snow blower ready. I uh, haven't started in a few weeks. Matter of fact, uh, almost a month, but it starts right up because I run the gas out of it. But anyways, I'll go over here. Well, I keep my wood supply. That's why I wanted to get in my Sunday best, because I got to kneel down here. I wasn't going to make a video of this, but got to do it. Honest to God, I hate snow. You know, when I was working, I was terrified to drive in it, because I've run off the road several times, you know, I won't drive in snow. Uh, let's see. Now, this is 2x6. Ah, damn thumb joints. This is 2x6 that was good from the deck. I save wood that, you know. I figured if I can drive up on a couple of these to get me up a little bit, maybe one more. Save me from getting the ramps. I've got some, like I say, I've got some ramps that I had for 40 years that are stored underneath that that work table there. That I have my uh, ramps that I drive the vehicles up on, but I have been going to my garage for the last you know, quite a few years, at least 10 years. I, I don't change my own oil. Then you got to worry about getting rid of it and everything. I go to my garage and do it. And as you know, I don't do very much maintenance as far as body work. It's getting harder. Um, I'm working against weather. It's either too hot, too cold, raining or snowing or something. When you have a garage, that's a great thing. You can do these things, you know. So... Vehicles get neglected, but body work is a losing battle. I've always said that. All right, enough chatter. Expect this to stay. It'll probably slide, but we're going to give it a try. Uh, but I got to get it up high enough. I don't really want to go and get the ramps out, but if I have to, I will. Perfect. I think I should be able to get up underneath there. Get nice heat out of this engine. Where's the... Ah. Where's the starter? Where's 
the alternator. Jesus Christ. Where's the damn starter? Uh, it's going in my face. Ugh. This is why I'm too damn old to be doing this crap. There's a starter. It's been replaced a few years ago. Ah, that's the exhaust, though. It's going to get smoky, but that's all right. It's sticky because I managed to spray it a few years ago. And uh, that'll help. So let me uh, lay this camera down. Uh, uh, it's just too hard. This, you know, this kind of work, you need a damn lift or a pit. Just crawling under the vehicles is for the young guys. I'm too damn old for this stuff. Just trying to maintain your vehicles. Trying to keep the starter from getting moisture in it. And the inside of the things here. And the brake lines and stuff. And different chassis parts and things like that. Transmission leakage linkage. Which is probably dripping into the lens. So let me get this camera out from underneath here if I haven't ruined the lens already. Oh. You know, this can ain't spraying too good. Usually they spray pretty good. I can't even see what I'm doing. But this, this can is about a quarter full. And I can't see what I'm doing. I need a lot of light when I work. A lot of light. Blind as a damn bat. Alright. Let me go spray the other side. You know, really, I, I need a lift so I can get up and do the whole frame. I'm not able to do the frame. I said, like, can I get under there? It'll take a, it'll take a half a day, good weather, to get this vehicle up high enough so I can do it, and I would need more cans of fluid film than what I got. I don't know if you can see that. All right, I emptied out the can of fluid film. I'm going to drive it off the ramp, and I want to go forward because it'll go back into the same spot that it was before. Got the snowblower running. I think she's half choke. I hope that's what it is. I just wanted to make sure it's okay. Don't need trouble with that. Yeah, that's all it was. Okay. Okay. All right. 
Okay, I knew it was going to start. Started on the first pull. Okay. All right. Now, get rid of the fluid film can. Let's save the little sprayer in the nozzle. Sometimes they work on paint cans. Yep. It's empty. And the recycle she goes. Okay. I wasn't gonna like I say I wasn't gonna make a video, but huh, you're getting a bonus today. Okay. The snow blow is all set. I just hope we don't get any snow. I don't mind a couple inches, I can deal with that. I don't wanna be damn shoveling, I gotta shovel my way. From the house, when I go out, this door is usually, if we get a lot of snow, this door is all blocked to go out. So I have to go out the front porch. I have to shovel all the way around, all the way through here and up here in order to get out my snowblower. Now, if it's not too deep, I can walk through with my boots. But if it's like six, eight inches or more, uh, I'm going to have to... Shoveling, <laughs> nothing else you can do. Uh, and I worry about too much roof accumulation. You now we've got uh, what they call the southern type of building. We even though we we uh, we bought it here in uh, Connecticut. It's a southern type of building. So it's only got two by two trusses, and that's it. So I get very, very nervous when I hear a lot of snow. So you people can keep it. If we never get snow in any winter, I'm happy. We had a very good winter so far. I knew that we weren't going to, the luck isn't going to hold out. But anyways, that's it. That's how I feel about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I got some editing to do. So you take care, and I hope everybody has a happy new year. And we'll be seeing you. Take care. Bye-bye.